Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. And this is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, uh, have you ever noticed that it's so easy to get off track? Isn't it just to kind of lose focus and become an idiot? I mean, we see it in our culture today right now in front of us. For instance, children under the age of 18 can't vote. They can't drive. Well, okay, until they're 16 and go through all that stuff. They can't drink alcohol. They, they can't buy a weapon. They can't even get a tattoo without parents' permission. But you know what they can do without parents' permission? They can get birth control. They can have sex. They can get an abortion. They can even change their gender. Now, that's crazy. It doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Well, uh, it didn't start with us. We're not the first generation to not get it. Listen to Jesus, Matthew 23, verse 16 and following as he talks to the Pharisees. He says, Woe to you blind guides who say, If anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he's bound by his oath. You blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? Or you say, so whoever swears by the altar swears by it and everything on it. And whoever swears by the temple swears by it and whom, by him who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. What is Jesus saying? Well, he's continuing his woes on the religious leaders. Because in this instance, they value the gold more than the temple and they value the gift more than the altar of God. Uh, in the vows that they were making. Yet it was the temple that sanctified the gold. It was the altar that made the gift holy, not the other way around. And, and by the way, Jesus is not pro-swearing, pro-vows. He's not saying you should take vows by certain things. Uh, neither the temple or the altar exist uh, anymore in a physical form. But I mean, after all, Matthew 5, earlier on, Jesus said, just don't worry about the vows. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. He just said, speak the truth. But Jesus is reminding us to get our priorities correct. Value the things of God more than the things of man. Let me say that again. He wants our priorities to be correct for us to value the things of God more than the things of man. So what should we value? You should, we should value worship and praising God. We should value serving God and making sacrifices for him. We should value showing mercy in the name of Jesus. You see, this is how we honor God. And this is how we show that our priorities are right. I hope that helps. And I hope you have a blessed day. And by the way, stop swearing about anything and let's just praise God.